Fairly common in many access control techniques is the concept of an access control list. An access control list is very specific, which says which users can access which objects. Now, the users or the subjects can either be users or it can be a role or it can be a group. We've talked about several different scenarios in the past several minutes. Take a look at an example. In this example, I have an access control list that is based on users. I could easily create an ACL, access control list, based on groups or on roles. But in this case, I'm just using users. I have three different columns for three different files, file A, B, and C. And we can see that Stacy is given read-write permission for file A, read-write and execute permission for file B, and only read permission for file C, whereas Noah has read permission for file A and no access for B or C. And you can see the last line, Isaac has read permission for files A and B, read-write, execute permission for file C. In order to authorize access to any object, your access control mechanism would simply just do a lookup based on the user and figure out for a specific user, for a specific file, what can that subject do to that object.